go through this. So when we look at physical stress, we look at posture. Now posture, <laughs> I wish you all could have just seen that. That was perfect. We did. Uh, someone that didn't do that. Can I borrow you? Did you notice that? that uh, let's have you face it that way. So today what I'm going to show you is some just some basic tips on posture because when you have um, stress that goes in your body, it will seek out the weak spots. For example, if I was to go around the room and do a survey and I was to say, when you're under stress, actually let me just start with Donna. Donna, when you're under stress, where do you feel it the most? Okay, so it goes to her, her shoulders. So that's for her. Now, how, I could ask somebody else, and they would say, boy, I, sh I paid you to say it. <laughs> uh, so they would say it goes in their lower back. Somebody else might say, when I'm under stress, it goes to my stomach, right? Or somebody else, like my wife used to say, uh, before she was, she used to have migraines, terrible migraines. When she was under stress, boom, it would go right to her head. Um, We've been together since before I was a chiropractor, and thankfully, since I've been a chiropractor, she doesn't get migraines anymore. But the point being, for her, that was her weak spot, right? For somebody else, it's in their stomach, and they get ulcer pains. For someone else, it's in their lower back. That's telling you that's where the water's, that's your leak in your Gore-Tex jacket, right? That's where it's soaking in, and it's going to find that spot, and it's going to trigger a symptom. So it's a, kind of like a warning light telling you. So for Donna, one of the things that we want to notice is that where does her head fall in relation to her shoulders? You're going to see that in a minute. But one of the things that I'm noticing is in a normal posture, your ears should be right over your shoulders. Now, do her ears fall right over? Don't move, please. Oh. She's going to do what you were going to do. I know, right. Do her ears, are, yeah, do her ears fall over her shoulders? No. They're in front, aren't they? Mm -hmm. There's a forward posture there. Mm -hmm. Now, her shoulders are good. A lot of times when someone has forward head posture, which we'll get into in a minute, their shoulders are also pulled forward, but thankfully she doesn't have that, so that's really good. Thank you, Don. I've been told I have a military neck. I don't have a... Well, that, the Lord mm -hmm. curve too, so that's part of it, probably. And that's that's exactly so, right. Typically, yeah. what we see when someone has forward head tilt mm -hmm. is they're losing that curve. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I'll show you that in a minute. Oh, great. Thank oh, you. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> let's give a hand for Donna. Yeah. So, let's talk about another type of stress. See, these are all physical stresses. Did I do that? Okay. Um, so, is that stressful? These are all physical. Yeah, everybody's stressed out there. So these are all physical stresses, but a lot of these have to do with posture. Lifting, stooping, crawling, pushing, carrying. So in this, just like you did, Alicia, which was perfect, this is where everybody usually straightens up in their chair, and I see them doing that. But the point of it is, is we want to have good posture. So I'm going to move on because we're going to come back to that. So mental stress, uh, there's a great quote that says, it's a funny thing, the things that I worry about the most never happen, right? So we have to kind of put things into perspective, but many times having mental stress can be very taxing on the body. So let's look at some examples. Lack of sleep, poor time management, the drive to work, workload, personal things, co-workers, etc. <laughs> These can all be stressful things that, um, that we spend time worrying about. And again, I'm going to show you some chemical reactions that can happen in the body with that. So here we have chemical stress. By the way, do we have their packets? They're um, informational. Can you pass those out to them? So some chemical stresses would include caffeine, sugar, sugar substitutes, medication, skipping breakfast, uh, alcohol, smoking, etc. These are toxins that you're putting into your body, and of course your body has to adapt or what? Perish, right? I'll tell you right now, if you drink a Coke, if your body did not do some major adapting, that Coke would literally kill you. We have, I was just telling Alicia, we have another presentation on nutrition, which we're not going to have time for today, but, I'm sorry, Alicia, I got that mixed up, sorry, because I meant you were my first time. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, but the, the, the acidity in a can of Coke is around a pH of 2, which is very close to battery acid. So, when you drink that, your body has to adapt to that acidic liquid in a major way, or else literally it would kill you. I mean, that's how acidic this stuff is. Um, so thank goodness for that adaptation. By the way, the way that it adapts, just so you know, because we do this in detail in the other presentation, but it pulls phosphates and, ca and uh, calcium from your bones, because calcium and phosphates are great alkalinizers. They're, they're the opposite pH. So it pulls them out of your bones. So what do you think you're prone to if you drink a lot of soda? Osteoporosis, right? So you want to avoid that. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is all the chemical reactions that happen with stress. 
Oh, look at right down at the bottom. We just talked about bone loss. That happens from stress. Acidic, your body becomes acidic when you're under stress. And guess what thrives in an acidic environment? The big C word. Cancer, right? Anytime you find a tumor or a cancerous growth in the body, you will find lowered pH. It's a guaranteed environment um, uh, thrust for, for uh, cancer. So, increased cortisol, increased catecholamines, increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, all these chemical reactions that are happening in the body that make you vulnerable, just like we said, you get all these things going on with stress and then boom, the holidays hit, your heart says, I can't handle it. That's when most heart attacks happen. So, there's a right and a wrong way to handle stress. By the way, how much time do we have? Because I want to be on time. Until 12.30? 1.30. Or, oh, sorry, till 1.30? Okay, great. I just want to be on time for it. Because we want to have time for questions and answers, too. Uh, so there's a right way, obviously, breathe deep and slow. Some of these are going to be very obvious. They're kind of almost funny, but you'll, you'll, get, you'll see the humor. So breathe short and shallow, right? That's going to create more acidity in the environment, in, in your body. Um, stretching out is the right way to handle stress. How many of you exercise today? Okay, good. Just a tip. Daily exercise. Exercise should be a daily thing. I, once I, I was giving a presentation to a group of doctors, and one of the doctors raised his hands and he said, if God meant us to run, he would have given us clothes. <laughs> so just that, that was fun. He was not a runner. <laughs> okay. So a wrong way to handle stress would be to smoke or meditate. Or you could medicate. Right? That's the wrong way. Right way, meditate. Wrong way, medicate. Uh, unless it's life... I mean, unless you, you need it for a life-threatening condition, obviously, then you got to have medication. Uh, good food and water. Boy, aren't we blessed here with good air? I mean, that's not what it's saying, but we're near the ocean. I mean, if you're you know, part of this, I'm going to tell you to go out and take a walk out in the fresh air. If you live in Pasadena, I wouldn't tell you that. I'd say, you know, breathe right next to the air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go out there. But here we, we have that benefit, so of course take advantage of it, since we live in such a nice environment. Having good food and water. Again, I... On that note, we have the farmer's markets here. We have organic food all over the place with different stores that you can go to, Staff of Life, really. So I would encourage you to take advantage of that because when you're putting chemicals like pesticides into your body, major chemical stressors that your body has to deal with. All right, so take a walk outside for fresh air. Not if you live in Pasadena. Okay. Walk to the break room for, I have an answer. Yeah. Or you can just walk to the break room for caffeine and get a sugar high. That doesn't count. By the way, if you raised your hand because you thought that was exercise this morning, that doesn't count. Okay, so take a break or don't take a break. Take time for yourself. All right, so managing stress. Now, this what this is showing is it's showing the signs that, that your body is a wool coat, has a wool coat on. Okay? These are the signs that stress is not, or sorry, that your body is not adapting to the stress. Remember what it said? It said adapt or perish. So you have to be able to adapt because stress is a killer. It's not so much that the stress itself is a killer. What it does is it makes killer conditions become killer. Like high blood pressure, hypertension, heart attacks, uh, strokes. These are all things that come, that, that are, um, become deadly when you're under stress, right? So these signs right here, and I'll go through these for you, um, just because I don't know if you can read them in the back, but the signs on this side are much less severe than the signs on this side. If you have signs on this side, you, your body is not adapting. So the signs would include insomnia, irritability, rash, fatigue. How many of you get fatigue? Like I said, we're a uh, fatigue nation, right? Or I said stress nation, but same thing, we're fatigue. You know what happens when you drink a cup of coffee? Uh, I'm kind of blending the nutrition part of this. Right? When you drink a cup of coffee, the caffeine in there um, triggers an immune reaction. So internally, you know, where your organs live their lives, and they don't all have eyes, so they don't know what's going on, but internally, chemically, they literally think there's a bear chasing after you. And you're sitting there going, wow, this is a good cup of coffee, you know? And your heart's going, run, run, you know? So, so know, know that that's what's happening, because that's really the energy boost that you're getting is from these, these chemicals that are being released as an immune reaction to, to the, the chemicals that you're putting in your body. So another one... Somebody raise their hand. Raise your hand if when you get under stress it causes a headache. 